Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the basic interface of Autodesk Elias. We're going to start by clicking, double clicking on the Elias Studio 2020. It says no preferences are found, um, but that's okay. We can just say defaults and start. So when you first start, uh, there it's Elias, uh, Elias is gonna show you several options. So we're gonna go with default general usage. And when you first start, it's going to show you a few pop-up menus. The first is a new feature, uh, the what's new highlights. It's uh, basically, this is telling you that with the 2020 update, it's gonna highlight this, uh, all the new features that that's been updated with the new version of Elias. We don't really need to see it, so we're just gonna say, don't show this again, and I'm gonna click it off. The second pop-up is uh, Essentials Skills Movies. So this has uh, several levels of basic tutorials of pro uh, provided by Autodesk. The first set is Essentials of Skills video, which shows you basic UI, view manipulation, etc. The second one is a fundamentals. Uh, so this is more of a basic uh, tutorial so that you can use after you've learned the basic interface. The third is a class A video. Uh, so this has a lot of very good, uh, good lessons uh, on how to create class A high quality surfaces. Again, we don't need to see it again. So we'll say check it and we're gonna turn it off. Now, before we start, I'm gonna start uh, I'm going to import a model. So I'm going to say import, and I'm going to say file. Oh, actually, before we do that, well, I'll just uh, turn this, uh, minimize this, and uh, go to the fo folder directly. So uh, in the fundamentals section, uh, you can click and you can also download a file uh, that is provided by Autodesk. So I'm, I'm downloading a file and I unzipped it and I'm just gonna click it open and it's a wire. The second one, I'm gonna open this particular file. So I'm gonna just double click it. And it says open the file or import. I'm just gonna say open and I'm just gonna keep the current settings as is. All right, so we have a model, uh, a model of a car right here. And on the left side, I am where, on the left side, we can see the palette. The, uh, this contains all the tools that you need to manipulate, create, and edit all the surfaces and curves and different aspects of the modeling. So for example, there's uh, you can create curves, you can edit the curves, you can edit the objects, create surfaces, and also edit the surfaces. So also, there are uh, several other tools uh, that you can use. Uh, you can evaluate uh, and uh, create other things that, that are to help you uh, build your model. On the top side, we're gonna see the menu. Again, I, I you can also use the menu to save or import or export your files. There's also other things that are to help you um, with your modeling. On the right side, you're gonna see a control panel. Control panel has uh, several things that you can use uh, to help you with modeling. Uh, for example, you can You can uh, ch uh, check CV hall to uh, display the CV and hall structure of the, your, of the surfaces that you're building. And also on the, below, you can use a diagnostic shade in order to view your model in different colors and also different evaluators. So for example, I just uh, turn on the regular diagnostic shade or you can use a studio shade and you can use a different evaluation tools in order to evaluate the surface that you created. Now, there are times that where you might accidentally 
turn off several menus or palettes and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to turn them on and off. So over at the menu, on the top menu, you can there's a tab called Windows and there is Palette. So if you click this on, you'll be able to retrieve your palette. Also, let's say you, for example, you accidentally turned off a control panel. You can go to Windows and again, control panel. Now, this diagnostic shade, uh, shade window, there are, this is actually a separate window. So you might accidentally click that off, but that lives in a different tab. So if you go to Window Display, there is, oh, never mind, Object Display, you can turn on Diagnostic Shading. And this is gonna pop up in a different menu. Now, before it was docked on the right side. So in order to dock your menu, all you have to do is click Shift and left mouse and drag it and dock it. And you can also use, uh, if you place your cursor between the menu, you can also click and drag on your left mouse button to adjust the size. Also, uh, with this particular, uh, after you begin, you, are, you will not be able to see the layers. So what, uh, what you can do is go to Layers, and you can click on Toggle Layer Bar and it's gonna give you the layers. Right now, we don't have any layers as set up, so you will only see def a default layer where everything that you create uh, goes and lives. Also, uh, in Alias, there's a something called a marking menu. So this uh, this is more like a shortcut, and, um, you know, for other softwares, uh, there's hotkeys, in alias, there's a marking menu. So what you can do is control shift and click left, and you're gonna see a bunch of marking menus. And you can also click a control shift and middle mouse button, and you're gonna see a different set of marking menus. Control shift to click and right, and you're gonna see also a third set of marking menus that you can quickly access and to help you with modeling. 